Good morning, everyone. Thank you for starting your day out with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. All right, a few months ago, I actually had the pleasure of meeting local author Charles Meyer. Now, he wrote the book Letters from the Sandbox, which talks about his experiences in Iraq. One of those experiences was very life-changing. His right leg in 2006 was blown off by an IED. Now, the thing that I love about Charles is he has such a positive attitude. To Charles, this was not a step back but it was a step forward. He continues to do everything that he did before, scuba diving, skydiving, spearfishing, you name it, this man still does it. Charles, thank you so much for being back on the show with me. You're welcome, I enjoy it. Well, I love having you here, as I just mentioned, Charles. You have such a positive attitude. Have you done any skydiving lately? Uh, I haven't, but there's some plans coming up with a buddy of mine who is uh, actually retired from Navy SEAL team, and he was on their skydive demonstration team. So. We're going to get up and go out. That was one of our little goals and objectives is to go out and jump out together. And uh -oh. Last time we did it, I had both legs. This time, just one, but it'll work out just the same. Good. Good for you, Charles. Now, what all have you been up to this summer? It's been a while since you've, you've been on the show. Uh, the summer's been actually pretty fulfilling for me. Uh, I just recently got back from a trip to Cuba. We had um, the last little windstorm that we had down here. I believe it was Hurricane Sandy mm -hmm. uh, that, that came through. Um, Correction, it was Isaac. It put a 500 foot container vessel on the shore of Mariel, Cuba. And uh, I was lucky enough to be contracted to go to Cuba and work with Titan Marine and um, Towboat US and remove that boat from, from the shore, take it into the port of Havana. Got to spend some time in Cuba proper, both in Mariel and in Havana, uh, sightseeing, looking at the locals and uh, just having a general good time. Mm -hmm. So it was a good trip. It was a great trip. Good. Now, Charles, you're an author, as I mentioned. You wrote the book, Letters from the Sandbox, which we're going to be talking about later on in the show. I actually want to have you read an insert from that book. But you also are just a man of so many hats, Charles. You have so many different jobs or positions that you fill. Um, it's correct, and I, I think it's a necessary evil to be able to diversify a skill set or skill sets while living in the Keys because you always have to make time for you know that perfect boating day right and right. Uh, it's one of the reasons that I've stayed down here I believe I do all kinds of stuff anything from running my security company firearms um, instruction CCW concealed weapons permitting for uh, clientele or people who'd like to learn more about that is one of the many services that I offer uh, other than personal and private protection uh, that's just the bigger thing that, that is more popular down here. I've done marriages, uh, provide, provide that services, weddings on the beach, either dress up like a pirate or a viking. Uh, <laughs> do both, both of those pretty well. I also own a, uh, a, a boat and go out and do spearfishing. Mm -hmm. uh, Charters? Charters, right. Mm -hmm. So we're facing charters with it. Boat's called Damn the Rocks. Mm -hmm. And I take three or four people out. We go out, you know, get get some fish, learn a great skill set on how to, you know, acquire food that you don't have to run to one of the local grocery stores to get. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. burn some calories, have a good time, come home and eat. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sightsee in the, in the middle of it. Not too bad of a job that you have right now. Enjoy there. it. And that's the one big secret I guess if you're doing something that you actually like mm -hmm. it's not really a job it's mm -hmm. just fun and you get paid for it you have to find that right find that job that isn't a job just fun right to you just and just the one that's fun <laughs> all right Charles have you done any writing since letters from the sandbox I have got two other books that are in the works mm -hmm. and it's you know putting them together a just there's too many stories I have to say all the time that I'm the king of weirdness. <laughs> it just comes to me and it doesn't, mm -hmm. you know, it doesn't matter where it's at, it, it comes to me. So there's a lot of stories in the book. It's just going through those and finding out which ones that I think and, you know, the people that I let read, uh, read it prior to me actually putting one out will, you know, be, be fun for people to read. Mm -hmm. So uh, I've got one that's coming up that I'm working on called Adventures in Boating and mm -hmm. that's just all about the mishaps and weirdness that happens on the water down here mm -hmm. and the other one is called the Corset Chronicles and it was about the time where I was general manager of an adult entertainment nightclub and all the weirdness that happens in there just uh, Key West has a saying it's where the weird turn pro <laughs> and there's nothing truer than that uh, that's very very true uh, that's all I can say right, right. The, <laughs> uh, 
the Adventures in Boating one is a, a, a true nod to bad decisions make really good stories. So. <laughs> Another true statement. Okay, Charles, you're going to stay with me. We're going to take a quick break right now, but when we return, we'll be back talking about letters from the sandbox. Stay with us.